Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and the official April tier changes has have dropped. So I talked about the potential changes in the discussion thread recently, um, and most of the changes did go through, but one of them didn't go through, which is really important. We'll talk about it, Electrode, and two items have been banned from competitive play, which actually makes a really relevant difference. The main one being King's Rock, which was sometimes ran on Cloister. So we'll go ahead and talk about all of that. So uh, officially... Gligar, Toxicroak, and Venusaur have all been moved up to UU from NU, which is really cool. I talked about it before in my previous video, so if you haven't watched that, I do recommend going to watch that. Toxicroak got moved up actually because it gets more play in OU Rain than um, than in UU. That's what brings up its usage rate. Gligar is just actually really good in UU. It's probably a little too good for NU. It's basically a better goal bat. Very, very bulky. If you like Gligar with Roost, really powerful. Um, Venusaur was just so base baseline strong. Like... The amount of matchups I've won as Venusaur versus like an Ice type with Ice Beam by just Giga draining it and sustaining back and doing more damage is insane. Uh, I talk about this a lot more in depth uh, in my previous video on this, so if you want to see that, I will try to remember to link it in the description below. But I'm really bad about that. If you do care about it, just leave a comment and I'll I'll, I'll remember to uh, link that. Thank you so much. Uh, now, so the bands. This is this is really interesting. Um, I think this means... I can actually check this in-game really quick. So, I think this just means that Electrode is being suspect tested. I believe it's still in UU. I think it's still in the UU tier. Like, I think it's still... Yeah, like, it's still... You, you can still play Electrode in UU. Um, it's weird wording. Ban to BL2 for Uber support characteristics. So, what this basically means is, like... Uh, Borderline 2 is, I assume... But that sounds like it's above UU. I'm not quite sure. It's very, very weird wording. I'd love to see this be... And I'm, like, pretty good with competitive Pokemon, but even this is a little confusing to me. Um, I'd be confused if it was, like, banned to, like, Ubers or something. It's still it's still in the underused tier on the Pokemon Pokedex, as I'm checking right now in-game. Um, but I assume... Uh, it can't... It's So, Electrode is too good for NU, in my opinion. And I talked about this, actually. I talked about this in my video. Because uh, it has access... It's the fastest reflect in light screen in the game. It can set up double screens really quickly with light 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 clay. And you end up EVing it, like, 252 speed, 252 HP. Uh, it ends up being a very good, you know, uber support characteristics. I guess that's what they're talking about. Um, so, you end up being able to support really, really well. Set up screens really fast. And you also have assets to taunt. So, you effectively shut down any other sort of screen set or any other sort of like stealth rocking lead uh, and you get up free screens and you also have access to teleport or explosion to be able to or vault switch three beautiful options depending on your team to be able to switch out into your next pokemon um it's just really 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 good it's a really really strong lead uh it's very very supportive yeah it's just, it has it has uber support characteristics it's honestly true now king's rock and razor fang is interesting uh i don't see razor fang played much but maybe i'm just I'm unaware. I could be unaware of a set. Uh, let me know if you guys know of, a, or if you guys are aware of a Razor Fang set for a Pokemon. Please let me know in the comments down below. I would, I would love to hear about it. Um, I feel like there might be one that I'm forgetting. King's Rock, however, King's Rock actually is pretty relevant, and King's Rock is used on Cloister. So King's Rock is an item that I believe you're going to check it in my on Pokemon really quick. It increases flinch chance, or it gives a chance to like flinch after every move. An item held by a Pokemon when the holder inflicts damage, the target may flinch. Now I don't know the exact chance of that, but I do know that it was really abused on Cloister because Skill Link Cloister will always let moves like Icicle Spear, Pin Missile, and Rock Blast hit five times, right? So when you're hitting five times with Kane's Rock equipped, you have a really high chance to flinch. Even if it's like 10% per which i think it's probably like what five percent per hit maybe maybe ten percent it might be ten percent which becomes a fifty percent chance to flinch which is insane um not not really effectively math's a little more complicated than that but um it's just interesting um so they were banned for being uncompetitive which i'm all about i'm all about item bans i'm all about any bans for things that are uncompetitive generally i can't think of a time where something got banned for being uncompetitive and i was like i don't really ag agree with that um usually it's pretty unanimous uh pretty rng based and pretty annoying so Super happy with this. I'm super happy with all these changes. Let me know what you guys think about these changes down below in the comments. I love to see you guys' feedback on this. This is all super feedback-based content. Uh, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future Pokemon content. Check out all the playlist links down below if you want more content after this video is over. Consider joining my Discord, which is a really cool community of people, which is fantastic. You can learn a lot about the game really quick. And then finally, if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel and support me, you can become a YouTube member to me for 5 bucks a month. Drop a Twitch Prime or a Twitch sub over on my Twitch. Hit up my Patreon or my Venmo, which all that's to all that all that spiel is linked down below. But I do really appreciate those who go above and beyond, go down and click that stuff. So thank you so much. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later.